Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Every day it seems like there's news of a new AI tool being released designed to change the way digital artists work. But amidst the excitement that these innovations bring to most people, a burning question consumes the minds of most of us 3D and VFX artists that have dedicated their entire careers perfecting the craft of visual effects. Will these tools help us? Or replace us although i haven't delved much into ai tools on this channel before there's a new ai vfx tool in development that's really hitting close to home demanding my attention today i'm going to cover a new ai tool that could literally change the vfx industry with a single click this new application wonder studio is a vfx tool driven by ai that will do all the heavy lifting for you this ai tool effortlessly animates lights and seamlessly integrates cg characters into a live action scene just record a video clip featuring an actor upload it and with a single click you can watch wonder studios work its magic traditionally creating a complex vfx shot including a cg character would require an entire vfx crew including an animator or mocap actor to drive the character's animation a lighting artist to light the character, ensuring it matches the environment, a character artist to create the character, a rigger to prep the character for animation, and a compositor to blend all the render passes and create that final VFX shot. But Wonder Studios claims that it could automate a staggering 80 to 90% of the VFX work in the pipeline. Will this powerful AI tool unleash artists' creativity, enabling them to tell better and more captivating stories? Or will it wipe out over 80% of the VFX artists in our industry? Could this one AI tool really turn anyone into a one-man VFX wrecking crew? What's going on, YouTube? This is JL Musi. I have an action-packed video for you today. So let's waste no time and jump over to the Wonder Studios homepage. This is still in closed beta, so there might be some small changes to the layout once it's open to the public. The featured template section offers a wide range of stock footage for you to use in your own shots with CG characters. The stock footage includes real live actors and is shot in a way that ensures excellent results when combined with the provided Wonder Studio characters. This allows anyone to quickly get started and create their own stunning VFX shots. The featured characters section displays all the CG characters that Wonder Studios has available for you. Now, Wonder Studios does have the option to upload your own character. However, it's much more involved of a process, so I won't be covering it in this short video. Clicking on any of these characters gives you access to additional information. You'll find details about the character artist, the character's backstory, and CG footage of the character in action. Moreover, there are tags provided to help describe the character and its unique traits. Looks like Wonder Studios might roll out a character creation program where they pay 3D artists royalties on characters sold through their platform. It would be a smart business move to incentivize artists to create high quality 3D characters specifically tailored for Wonder Studios. This would ensure that users have a growing roster of characters to choose from when creating their own VFX shots. And the fact that there's already a marketplace section on the site makes this scenario even more likely. If you want to start creating your own awesome hard surface characters like these, make sure to snag your copy of the hard surface modeling cheat sheets. This is a free resource that I created to help you kickstart your 3D modeling and learn the topology secrets to create VFX worthy hard surface models. You could download this free guide by using the YouTube card right here or by using the link in the description down below. So let's dive into Wonder Studios and create our own first VFX shot. So for that, we'll need to go to create new project and here we'll have two options, live action easy and also live action advanced for the purposes here we're going to do live action easy continue so here we're in the editor if you're coming from any package that does any type of vfx work like after effects nuke maya or blender you'll notice how ridiculously simple 
the Wonder Studios interface is. So the first thing that we have to do is upload our own videos. I'm gonna go ahead and take my clip here of me shadow boxing. I'll go ahead and put this into the editor. Once the video is uploaded, we could scrub the timeline, make sure our video is playing correctly. So once your video is here, we're simply gonna click next. Now we need to tell Wonder Studios to scan and identify the footage for any actors so you can properly integrate your CG character into that footage. So for that, we will hit the scan frame actors button. So as my first test here, I'm gonna select this beast's bot. I'm gonna simply drag it to replace the live actor. And then we're simply gonna hit next. Here we have all the options to create our final rendered composition. This resolution here is gonna be tied in with the resolution of the native clip. We have the format as well. Looks like ProRes and matching the source will be coming soon. And here are the individual export elements, which could actually be very beneficial in tweaking ultimately some of the issues that you'll come up with. For example, we have the option to export the AI mocap data. We're gonna turn that on, as well as the clean plate that Wonder Studios generates with its AI. We also have the ability to create alpha mask, so we're gonna turn that on. And a nice feature that they've added is the ability to export the Blender scene, the camera track data, which is not currently available, as well as the character pass. We're gonna hit start process. Now you'll have an in progress section where Wonder Studios will give you a pretty close approximation of how long your clip will take to process. So while processing your render is not instant, as it still has to render out the entire scene, it does so on the cloud. So it won't take any of your system's resources. This allows you to step away from your computer or continue working on other projects. So let's take a look at the results. The estimated time of 111 minutes to render that 26 second clip was spot on. Wonder Studios did a pretty good job converting my performance just from this video into mocap data and then apply that mocap data into the character that I selected. It also used a source video to create a HDRI lighting setup to help match the character lighting to that of its environment. One thing you will notice on many of these Wonder Studio shots is that they have blurred artifacting around the character. This is a result of the AI generated plate it produces. If we take a look at the export options we set up earlier, this is what the actual plate looks like. Live action shots that separate the character from the background with some depth of field tend to make this artifacting less noticeable. You will also notice that the mocap data produced won't be as clean as saying using a mocap suit as Wonder Studios has to essentially guess any marker placement on that limb that is occluded from the camera in that original footage. Ultimate control to tweak this CG shot will be with the option to open it up in Blender using the provided file. Here we can jump into Blender and add any additional 3D assets that the character might interact with, as well as adding layered animation to the mocap data or simply clean up the animation or make pretty much any change that we want before re-rendering our scene. While this shot turned out pretty good, this was one of the better shots that I was able to produce using Wonder Studio straight out the box. This app does have some limitations. For example, the proportions of your actor in the footage must roughly match the proportions of your CG character. This droid has much longer limbs than I do, so the CG character's jabs fail to have the full reach compared to the live action footage. On this other example, you'll see this droid here having some penetration of the actual form with its head as it is much longer than mine in real life. So each character's proportion will essentially affect the animation and the amount of intersection that you have. The only way to correct this would be to export this into a package like Blender and tweak the animation. Another limitation of Wonder Studios is dealing with lock joints. For example, in this next clip where I'm doing some push-ups, my hands are fixed or locked into the floor when I rip placed myself with the CG character, you see that I'm having some weird hand sliding. Come on, bro, that's terrible push-up form. In conclusion, it's clear that Wonder Studios is not intended to replace VFX artists, but rather to complement their work. While it can significantly reduce some of the production time and provide a faster starting point for integrating CG characters, VFX artists 
still remain an essential part for refining and perfecting these shots. In certain more complex shots, like those involving unique proportions or anatomy, something like a dragon, still require the expertise of more traditional approaches. Wonder Studios has the potential to make VFX shots more accessible to smaller studios and mid-size and large content creators. By enabling them to incorporate CG characters into the content, it's gonna create more of a demand for those experienced VFX artists to enhance and troubleshoot these shots. It's important to address the AI hype surrounding the industry. While some AI tools for digital artists streamline certain processes, sometimes they can feel more like a marketing gimmick. Unlike other AI tools that aim to create video derived from AI generated images, Wonder Studios integrates with the existing VFX pipeline. So tools like Wonder Studios will help take some of that AI hype and convert it into excitement for the world of VFX, providing more projects and work for most VFX artists. Ultimately, apps like Wonder Studios can bridge the gap between human creativity and machine assistance, allowing them to coexist and collaborate. So for now, it seems like that artists and AI will continue to work hand in hand and expand the possibilities in the world of VFX. So maybe man and machine can live in harmony for a little bit longer. So that's all the time that I have for you folks. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the impact that AI tools like Wonder Studios will have on the VFX industry. After playing around with Wonder Studios, I am tempted to make a complete short film with it. So let me know what you guys think of the idea. Please leave your comments down below. And until we meet again, I will catch you next time.